Happy 724, Roger. Center maintain 2000. Center maintain 2000, Comment 504 to center maintain 3000. 3000, comment 504. In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, different uh, weather forecasts. The first thing I wanted to cover is the taps. So, what is a TAF? It's a terminal uh, aerodrome forecast. So, what is it? Is like it's a concise statement uh, of the expected meteor uh, meteorological conditions significant to aviation for a specified time period uh, within five statue miles so basically they are uh, done like uh, on the on the airport and within the five statue miles okay uh, of the center of the aircraft runway complex so and they are very similar to the meters like they use the same uh, weather codes found in the meters uh, and over here we have just like meters we have two types uh, uh, so basically it's gonna be first of all uh, we're gonna be uh, so it's the elements of the uh, the TAFs or, or uh, term, uh, terminal aerodrome uh, forecast is very similar to a meter so the first part is gonna be the type right over here like in the meters we had a meter or a special meter right but over here you would have a routine forecast which would be TAF or an amended forecast which would be TAF AMD or a corrected forecast uh, which would be TAF uh, COR so these are the different types of uh, TAF uh, the second one again just like the other one it has a four letter uh, station identifier so the ICAO like the airport uh, code station identifier uh, third one is the date and time of origin again very similar to the old one the first two digits are gonna be the date and the, the next one is the hour and then the uh, the minutes and then Z as in Zulu then we have valid period uh, date and time this is not like what we have in the meter it also has a validity okay the first two digits of the uh, are the day of the month of, uh, for the start of the TAF uh, followed by two digits uh, indicating starting hour the next two digits indicate the day of the month for the end of the TAF and the last two digits are the ending hour uh, again everything is in UTC uh, it is like scheduled 24 and 30 hour tasks are issued uh, four times per day so normally they are uh, on the zero hour uh, six hour 12 hour and 18 uh, 18 hour uh, so, so and so an example would be like let's say if you see this validity zero nine zero zero slash zero nine two four so you can understand it is for the ninth of the month starting at the zero hour and it ends on the same ninth and ends at 24th hour okay this is the validity part then we have the forecast right and again very similar to that one it, it has a wind visibility and like the uh, vicinity weather cloud vertical obstruction those kind of things and it also has like uh, 
words like FM, Tempo and Prob uh, to indicate different conditions. Okay. The second one is that what is an aviation area forecast? So aviation area forecast. So it is abbreviated as FA. So FA is this, um, it's a forecast of specified weather, weather phenomena covering a flight information region uh, or other area designated by the meteor, uh, meteorological authority. So normally the pilots, they use it to determine the forecast and route weather uh, and to uh, uh, and basically to interpolate conditions at the airports uh, that do not have a terminal, basically who do not, uh, the, term, uh, the airports who, which do not, do not have the t TAFs, TAF, uh, they're going to be using FAs in order uh, to get the uh, weather forecast. Then like what information is provided, so basically details about this FA. So the area forecasts are issued for the basically these uh, like all, all the states in the US uh, and it covers the airspace between the surface to 45,000 feet uh, uh, like uh, feet uh, altitude and what they include is a synopsis they include clouds and weather And uh, and also like they also include in, include the category, and I will explain in a second what that means. So <clears throat> synopsis means like the brief discussion of the synoptic weather affecting the FA area uh, during the eighteen hours valid uh, uh, valid time. This cloud and weather. This one is like, um, it's going to have the description of the clouds and weather again for the first 12 hour uh, period of each state and groups of states. And they would normally say, uh, like, are, if they are, uh, they are like uh, broken clouds, if there are uh, uh, if, if there is like a uh, uh, scattered clouds and stuff like that. So it will also tell you about the bases where the clouds start and the tops uh, where the clouds end. And also we'll talk about the precipitation and the visibility. Okay. And also talks about the wind speed and the directions. The, the category, the third thing which the FA talks about is basically it will talk about the IFR, marginal VFR, VFR. So basically they will tell you that uh, uh, using these terms to indicate that uh, what category you need to have in order to fly in, the, in this kind of situation. Okay. And now what is a graphical forecast? So just like the, it's called the GFAs. So it is intended to provide the necessary uh, aviation weather information as a complete picture of the weather that may impact flight in the continental US. So basically it's going to be within the US and they will be giving you the graphical depiction uh, of the weather. Uh, like, yeah. Then, then we want to talk about like the in-flight aviation weather advisories.
Okay. So what are they? There are basically four types. The first one is the sigmat. Okay. And then we have a convective sigmat. Third one is air mat. And the fourth one is uh, the center weather advisory CWA. These are the four different uh, types of the in-flight aviation advisories. And we're going to be talking about these, uh, like basically segments are the uh, significant uh, meters mats are the, the regular meters and stuff like that. So we'll be covering that in a second. Okay, so we're going to start with the convective, this one. What is a convective segment, right? Okay, so it implies severe or great greater turbulence severe icing and low level wind shear and it could be uh, issued by uh, for any convective uh, situation okay yeah and again as i said severe thunderstorm uh, it can actually tell you if there are there's going to be a convective segment if there is a like a wind speed is more than 50 knots and uh, there are embedded thunderstorms or a line of thunderstorms, stuff like that. Then we're going to be covering SIGMET. Sorry. So the regular SIGMET, right, it advises the weather that is potentially hazardous to all aircraft. Sigmets are unscheduled products that are valid for four hours. Sigmets associated with the tropical cyclones or volcanic ash and volcanic ash clouds are valid for six hours. So normally for four hours, but like for these tropical uh, cyclones or the, if there is related to the volcanic ash clouds, they're going to be valid for six hours. Again, they're going to be covering severe icing, uh, but not associated to th thunderstorms. Otherwise, it's going to become a convective segment. And severe and extreme turbulences and clear air turbulences. Uh, that kind of thing and also the volcanic ash right now we want to talk about the this thing uh, the air mats okay so advisories these are the advisories right of significant weather phenomena that describe conditions uh, to add and in intensifies uh, lower uh, than those uh, which require the issuance of segments. So they are relatively, they are for uh, those weather phenomena where they are not as significant that they uh, those phenomena become uh, so important that they have to, to issue the segment. If it is of lower uh, levels, uh, we're going to be issuing, you're going to, uh, they're going to issue air mat. So this information is available in two formats. One is the text bullet and also the graphics format known as the G air mats. Okay. And again, similar to the air mats, we also want to talk about different levels of air mats. Sorry, different types of air mats. Okay, so there are three types, very famous ones. They are called Sierra. The second one is Tango. And the third one is Zulu. Okay, starting with the Sierra. Uh, Airmet Sierra, Sierra describes IFR conditions uh, and or extensive mountain obstructions 
so there will be IFR conditions uh, VFR won't be allowed even uh, going in there that kind of stuff the conditions are pretty bad Tango describes moderate turbulence okay so this is like the, the most severe is gonna be the Sierra then Tango and this is like uh, a little bit different, Zulu will talk about it. But this is Tango describes the moderate turbulence uh, sustained surface uh, winds of 30 knots or greater and or no uh, non-convective non low level wind shear. Zulu describes the moderate icing and provides freezing level heights. So basically this one talks about the uh, icing, right? and talks about the freezing level heights okay now we're gonna cover uh, we did cover nine the tenth one is gonna be the FBs also known as the uh, like the, uh, the the wind and temperature loft forecast so these are the winds and temperature a law of forecast also known as FB okay winds and temperature law of forecast are uh, they are basically computer prepared forecast of wind direction, wind speed and temperature at specified times, altitude and locations. And they are normally generated four times uh, uh, for specified location. Again, uh, like they have a very similar uh, format uh, like a meter or uh, the TAFs. Uh, they would have a product header which would include the date and the, the time observation uh, then they will have the altitudes uh, up to 15,000 feet referenced uh, to the mean sea level then they would have the temperature indicated in degree Celsius then the wind directions would be the part of the FBs too okay and now we want to talk about in these weather uh, temp wind and uh, temperature aloft forecast uh, like what valuable information these FBs have info does this FBs have uh, so these wind and temperature aloft forecast known as the FBs uh, so basically they have information about like what is the most favorable altitude okay again based on the winds and the direction of flight they can tell you what what's going to be the most favorable altitude then they can have like the areas of possible icing they can tell you that right uh, temperature inversions they can tell you where exactly are the temperature inversions and they can also tell you about the turbulence so these are the things which the FB can tell you about and the last question we want to cover in this video is uh, the, uh, the one which we didn't cover so far center weather advisories this is another the last uh, type of the in-flight advisory they have uh, center weather advisories okay so basically it is an aviation warning uh, for use by air crews uh, to participate and avoid adverse weather conditions in the en route uh, and terminal environment it is uh, not a flight planning product instead it actually reflects the uh, the current conditions expected at the time of issuance okay and expected to begin within two hours of issuance those are the center uh, weather advisories also known as the CWA thanks for watching